an illegal alien putting an end to his attempt to cross from Mexico into the United States in broad daylight as American Border Patrol surveillance cameras watch on. The man quickly climbs over the first fence to get back into Mexican territory before one of the rapidly deployed patrols catches him. Enrique Morones lives on the American side and has been observing this kind of activity for the past 20 years. He plants water bottles along the border for clandestines who have often come from far under unbearable heat. According to him, the construction of the wall has only made the journey more dangerous for illegal aliens. So what this, these walls are meant to do is keep the people from crossing from city to city, forcing them to cross in the most extreme areas. And what's, what's really sad is that you have two to three people dying every day. It hasn't slowed anything down. And like Senator Ted Kennedy said, show me a 50-foot wall and I'll show you a 51-foot ladder. Every day, clandestines take perilous routes in order to circumvent the wall. Some of them pay their smugglers up to $3,000 to guide them along these paths. You have literally thousands of people that cross through here. This is one of the areas where they do cross, and you can see footprints. Enrique knows this path well. Illegal aliens wait for the sewers to fill with water and hide in them in order to avoid being spotted by the patrols. A few miles away, San Isidro is the biggest port of entry into the United States. It separates Tijuana on the Mexican side from San Diego on the American side. Officers here are on high alert. The wall has forced many aliens seeking entry into the United States to hide in vehicles rather than cross through the desert. Well, we processed between 15 and 23 million cars last year and, you know, of those, let's say for example, there were 4,000, a little over 4,000 organized smuggling events that occurred in vehicles. So, I mean, you know, it's a very small number, but when you look at 4,000 smuggling events, uh, that equated to 23,000 undocumented aliens in those events. So there are huge numbers for us. The wall has caused an increase in illegal activity at San Isidro's border and other ports of entry. Because it does not span across the entire border, however, many illegal aliens continue to find their way to Enrique's bottles of water. Precious random gifts for people crossing illegally into North American territory sometimes at the expense of their own lives.